Good morning everyone, it's Mae Larson here with Crafting on a Budget with Baby Emma. And today we're going to be doing another style of shabby sheet flowers. Now I've done these in the past and if you go into my YouTube channel you'll see some of the flowers that I've done. And this style is using satin fabric um, and we will be needing a tea light candle or a lighter. It's just a lot harder to... Um, burn the edges with a lighter, especially if your finger gets tired. Um, you'll need a needle and thread and a fork. Yes, that's it, a fork. Okay, um, you'll need buttons, bling, whatever you have, um, and you'll need your hot glue. Um, your piece of satin fabric that I have here, it's three and three quarters by 20 inches. You'll also need another um, piece of satin fabric that is about 12 inches by maybe this here is about an inch and a quarter um, and your scissors that's all you're going to be needing all right so let's get started I'm going to move everything aside um, and on this one you'll see I have leaves and I'll show you that in another video tutorial on how to do the leaves because that's a little bit lengthy as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is three and a quarter. I'm going to fold it like a fan. Actually, not like a fan. I'm just going to fold it just like that. Make it about an inch. Now, if you want your leaf petals to be a little bit wider, of course, you'll go wider on the fold. If you want your leaves to be a little bit smaller, go smaller on the fold, okay? So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go about, that's about, I would say about an inch. About an inch, that's what I prefer. Okay, fold it in. And then just keep folding it over like so. And then just keep folding until you get to the end. And it's just like rolling it carefully and tight, like so. This is a little bit easy peasy, and you'll see why. Okay, on this one here, I'm going to go ahead and trim this little piece that's not to my liking because it's wonky. Now once you have this here rolled up, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it, grab your scissors, and you're just going to carefully trim off the edges. Now you can make some um, little jagged edges on your petals like I'm doing here when you're rounding it off, and that just gives it a little bit of character. Now roll it this way and then trim off almost like a little, see that? We're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. I'm going to trim off, and then I'm going to give some jagged ends. And you'll have fabric flying everywhere. That's okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So when you don't unroll it, stick your scissors right in. Now you see these two little cuts right here and here. We're going to leave about an inch in the center. So we're going to go in from here and in, okay? And just leave about an inch because it in the center like so. So see that? Okay, and I'm going to turn it this way towards me. And I'm going to do the same thing. That's where we're going to... Um, you can either sew it. I, I do like sewing it, but I'm going to show you the scissor tech or the sorry the fork technique, just because some people don't want to sew. Okay. All right. So if I open it up, you see there's about an inch there. Okay. Now I want to release it. And you're left with this. This little piece here that's at the end, we're just going to trim that off. Okay. 
All right, and you see that I have jagged edges all the way around my petals, and there's about an inch between the slits, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and light up my candle. You will need some thread. Now you can use like a um, crochet thread or a sewing thread. Um, it's up to you however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the crochet thread with the fork. Okay, I'll show you the fork technique um, and how easy it is to do that. And that's basically for ladies that don't like to sew because it's hard on their hands. I'm going to grab a sip of my coffee. And let's light our candle. I got these lighters, or this lighter, Friday, and the fluid ran out really quick. Okay. So here's my thread. I'm going to grab my fork. And I'm going to go right in the middle, right there in the middle, and put that in just like so. Okay, get it ready. Okay. Now I like to um, go around all the edges before I put it on the fork. Um, it just makes it a lot easier, and you can maneuver the petals a lot better, and you don't get burned as easily. So we're going to go ahead with the candle lit we're gonna go in and cinch those little edges and you'll see them curl and that's what we want we want that curl especially around the petals so we're gonna do that all the way around go really careful and what I like about this one this red color is that with the um, with you putting it close to the flame it gets a, like a little darker around the edges and it kind of gives it that you know when you see roses that are burnt on the edges real live roses that's what it gives it and I like that look all right so we're just going to go around all the way around as close as we can get and get those edges really nice and cinched all right there we go Now, I'm going to do this off camera. We'll come back when it's completely done. So I'm not wasting your time while you're watching me do this. You can be doing it at home. You're just going to go all the way around. Okay, so we'll be back and we'll have it all done. Now we're coming to the end here. And I did want to give you a caution if you feel that um, you might start a fire or you're scared of the flame just have a bowl of water next to you just in the event that you do accidentally get too close although um, I've never had that happen but just always use caution when doing this uh, technique okay I don't want anyone to get burned and I don't want anyone to say oh I got burnt because you taught this technique no um, just use caution when doing this um, make sure that there's nothing around you that's flammable um, and like anything else always use caution okay so we're getting to the edge or the end sorry this is how quick this flower is it's so quick no so and you can so like I said you can and sew it absolutely all right so I've done all of it it's all done all the way around okay I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn off my candle for a second there because um, I'll need it here shortly for the second part but we're gonna work on this remember our fork with our thread in the middle we're going to go ahead and grab right in the center that one inch bit we're going to put it right there you have something that you can hold um, your fork in put your fork in like one of those uh, uh, what do you call it pool noodles you can use that stick it right in the foam 
um, the fork that is, um, it helps keep it stabilized. But I just have this thread bobbin thing here. I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my petals in the center, making sure it's all symmetrical. Even that on both sides, in other words. Okay. So you're left with that crunch like that, okay? All right. Scrunch it all the way down. I'm going to grab this thread or whichever thread. You can do either or either side. Bring it over to the middle on the opposite side, okay? bring both threads up and pull it out and you're left with something like this okay now go ahead and tighten that up really good I have to give it a twist before I do anything because of my arthritis and then Get a good twist and then wrap one over, tighten it up really good. And then tie that. <laughs>
image. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it back to the candles. We're going to go around the outer edge and kind of cinch all that up like so. Kind of seal it. That's all we're doing. Sealing that all the way around. Okay, now for the fringe, this is what we're going to do. Get them all nice and flat. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to sit it right in front of the flame, right out over it, and watch it curl. See that, how it's curling? You probably can't see, but it's curling. I'll show you in a second when I pull it out. I'm just going right over it. probably about a half inch away from the flame. Sure, all those flint um, fringes are nice and straight, so it gives you that effect of the curling. Once not curled all the way, you can just go right back in. And curl it how you want it. So then you're left with something like this. I'm going to show you. Nice and curled. I'm going to curl a couple here that I want more curled. And that's it. You're left with something like that. Okay. And then you're going to take your needle and thread. I already have mine threaded. And on the end, we're going to tie the slip knot and then do a whip stitch straight across and make sure that's not now the other way you can do um, this flower is if you want to sew it for added security instead of tying it like we did with the fork um, you can do a runny stitch all the way across um, the flower. Okay, so we have this runny stitch all the way across on what we are calling the stamen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to gather this up like so. And sew the two ends together. And then we're just going to close that up. Okay. And we're left with something that looks like that. And we can stick that in the middle of our flower like that to make it the stamen. And then we can decide what we want to put in the center like that. I kind of like that look there. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue all the way around here. Smack in the center of our flower like so. Of 
fall into place. <clears throat> And then the next thing we're going to do is just decide what we're going to put in the center. Like I said, I do have um, an idea of doing a video and showing you how to make your own uh, beaded embellishment for the center of your flowers. Oh, I think that one looked prettier than this one. This one's a little bit too big, although it's good, but no, we're going to go with this one. back and watch my next series of flowers and we'll do a video on how to do your leaves if you want to add leaves um, to your flowers. Okay. Now what I like to do is scrunch it up while the glue is still a little warm. And there you have it cute little shabby cheap flower. So what I was saying <clears throat> previously is when you take your flower and take this over here and you cut it, let me cut this one here and show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and this is 20 inches. I like doing it 20 inches because it gives me a nice full flower. Now this one's a little bit bigger. I think this one is Three and a half. That's good. And that's that's the size. Three and a half to three and a quarter is what I like. That's perfect size, which is what we have done. Okay. So when you're folding it, remember I like to do a one inch because the petal is just perfect. So when you're folding it in, I'm going to show you, and you're going to do like instead of the fork technique, you can do a running stitch in the center. Um, and I'll do that one real quick to show you. Hold it all the way through, like so. Now my straightening iron here, um, I'm going to go ahead, fold it in the center, and then you're just going to iron that out, just get a nice little crease there, that way you get an idea of where you're going to put that running stitch, and this is for those ladies that, you know, find it easier to sew than to use the fork. Fork mechanism is, it is easy to me, I find it easy. But some people don't like to do that. And if you like to sew, just get an idea of where your center is. use a straightening iron this is what the purpose of it is for now. Okay. Center that in. So now you have a 
a seam all the way in the center. And you can take your needle and run through that once you've gone ahead and cinched all these little edges of your petals. Okay? It just makes it a lot easier. All right, so now we've had all the petals melted or cinched with the flame of the candle. And as you can see, I have that seam. So what you would do if you wanted to make your running stitch right along that seam is where you're going to make your running stitch. Okay, and then you'll have that effect similar to this. So that's it. That's all you have for today. And for the next video tutorial, of course, we'll do some flowers or some leaves. Sorry. Um, and show you how to do that technique as well. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.